Assalamualaikum and very good afternoon to my panels. My name is Syamina Afika binti Saifubari. In this video, I would like to present regarding the result of my final year project that is supervised by Associate Professor Dr. Muhammad Afendi Mamek Pia. My project title is Temperature Difference Between Lamina and Turbulence Flow in Parallel Plate Treatment Chamber for Pulse Electric Field Application. The objective of the project are first to determine the type of fluid flow by varying the flow rate and velocity of the fluid flow. Next is to design a treatment chamber that produces a uniform electric field between the electrode. The third one is to measure the temperature difference between the inlet and the outlet of the fluid at the treatment area. And the last one is to observe and record the increment of the temperature affected by the flow pattern. Now, I will explain on the experimental design using console multi-physics software. The simulation involves three parts of module which are electric currents, fluid flow and heat transfer. First, we need to determine the parameters used in the simulation. The flow rate of fluid flow in treatment area was obtained by multiplying the value of velocity with the area of the treatment chamber. A treatment chamber is designed and the parts of the treatment chamber are defined. The type of liquid that we use in the numerical simulation is sodium chloride solution or also known as salt solution. All the relevant properties such as density, viscosity, thermal conductivity and specific heat capacity are strongly depending on temperature. As I have mentioned before, the simulation involves three main parts. For the first part is electric currents, which is under AC-DC module. This module is to complete the distribution of electric fields across the treatment gap. And for the second part, which is fluid flow module. This module is to illustrate the fluid flow patterns, either lamina or turbulent. Hence, KE model apply if the flow pattern is turbulent. The last part is heat transfer module. This module is to describe the energy balance with transport by conduction and convection of heat energy. Furthermore, we need to compute all the studies applied to get the final result of the simulation. After done computing, the result shows that the average volumetric electric field was approximately 20 kV per cm with an applied voltage of 4 kV and a treatment gap of 2 mm. For a flow rate of lamina, the estimated fluid velocity was approximately 2.3 cm per second and is mostly located near the central axis. However, it slows down when it reaches the treatment chamber wall and may stop. This condition results in the fluid having a high residence time and receiving a long exposure to electric fields compared to the fluid passing through the center. For a flow rate of turbulent, the estimated fluid velocity was approximately 180 cm per second and is mostly located far from the central axis. Due to the turbulent flow pattern, the fluid meets up resulting in the fluid having a low residence time and receiving short exposure to the electric field compared to the lamina flow. From the result of the lamina and temperature, it shows that the highest temperature distribution was at the wall of the treatment chamber while the lowest temperature was at the center of the treatment chamber. This is due to the velocity of the salt solution becomes zero at the wall of the treatment chamber. Therefore, the temperature rise in the region is expected to be high, especially on the electrode edges where the heat is transferred. For the speed of 2.3 cm per second, which is lamina flow, the fluid temperature increases from 25 degrees Celsius at the inlet to 36.82 estimated at the outlet. For the result of turbulent and temperature, it shows that the temperature in the treatment area for turbulent flow, there is no omit heating produced because the temperature distribution of the turbulent flow is very homogeneous. For the speed of 180 cm per second, which is turbulent flow, the fluid temperature increased from 25 degrees Celsius at the inlet to only 25.08 degrees Celsius at the outlet. This is happened due to the mixing of the salt solution along the treatment chamber. Therefore, the heat transfer among the salt solution is equal. When a fluid flows through a closed tube or chamber, such as a parallel plate chamber at higher velocities, turbulent flow will occur. 
The graph shows that the difference between laminar temperature and turbulent temperature throughout the treatment area. From the graph, we can see there is a significant increment of laminar temperature while very least increment of turbulent temperature. The temperature rise can be reduced by increasing the peristatic pump speed. In order to maintain the temperature between the inlet and the outlet, the pump speed must be extended beyond 100 rpm until it reaches 8600 rpm or more. To conclude, higher speed means lower residence time and fewer passes received by the liquid flow passing the treatment zone thus reduces the temperature escalation. To ensure that all liquids are treated, it must receive at least one pulse. Therefore, its speed needs to be controlled properly to avoid conditions where the liquid misses the pulse. Another way is to control the pulse frequency but it will affect the capacitor charging time. From the analysis presented, it is found that the parallel plate of the treatment chamber is capable of producing uniform electric field propagation throughout the treatment area. This can have a favorable effect on the homogeneous microorganism in activation. Problems with significant rising temperatures can cause an arcing phenomena by increasing the conductivity of the liquid resulting in a low resistance treatment chamber. However, this can be avoided by increasing the flow rate to a certain extent until a turbulent flow pattern is obtained. That's all from my presentation. Thank you.